taken uh, the command prompt and I've uh, changed directory to where Google Chrome is. You can find that out by right clicking on uh, Google Chrome and hitting properties and it'll show you where it's located. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the amount of space allocated for Google Chrome. Uh, this will change it from the default I believe is four gigabytes to whatever we want to set it at. So we can just keep using it and it won't crash until it hits that many gigabytes of RAM. So let's type in so let's type in chrome.exe and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass in an argument. Let's make it Let's make it 100 gigabytes. So what I did was I typed in the command chrome.exe and then added the arguments, max old space size, and then we're gonna make it uh, 100,000 uh, megabytes. So we're gonna make it 100 gigabytes. What's gonna happen is Chrome's gonna open up. Okay, what we wanna do now is find uh, web pages that take up a lot of space. Uh, generally, your ones with lots of pictures can take up a lot of RAM. So what we do, so we type that in, and to make this go quickly, we'll hit Alt-D, it will select the pathway, and then we press Alt-Enter, and it'll create a new tab with that. And we will keep doing this. Now there are faster ways of doing this, but we we're only trying to get to 100 gigabytes of RAM. So let's just keep doing this. All right, let's change it up a little bit. Let's go to space.com. And then we'll do the same thing. All right, let's see how we're doing so far. Control Alt, Control Alt, Delete. Hit the Task Manager, and then we're going to see how much of our memory we have used so far. And we can see these different instances of Google Chrome. And so far, we've used 12 gigs. At this particular moment, I've only been able to get 104 gigabytes of RAM to show up despite having 128 gigs of sticks in there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think there are some memory errors with some of the RAM sticks, but anyways, we've got 104 gigabytes to use. Let's see if we can fill it up. All right, let's change the website. Let's go. Fox News. Again, lots of pictures. New website. Let's go to space.com again. All right, let's see how much RAM we've used so far. All right, so far we've used up 18 gigabytes of RAM out of our 100 four so we're getting there but as you notice chrome hasn't uh, crashed so our um, our argument 
to increase the amount of RAM that it can use is working just fine. So let's do another website, weather.com. Again, you can just hit Alt D and then enter and you don't even have to release your finger off of the Alt key. Just keep doing it. Let's check on our RAM. Well, so far we only used 22 gigabytes of RAM. But you can see that it's working, it's fairly stable. Now, one thing to note is that our CPU is at 100%. Here we have two four core processors, so eight total cores, 16 threads. And right now our CPU is getting hammered way more than a RAM is. But it's still pretty responsive. Let's pick another website. All right, where are we at now? We've been doing this and we're only at 24 gigabytes. I'm gonna stop there. We've shown that uh, yes, you can go above the regular RAM limit with a simple argument. And really, it looks to me like the winner here is Google Chrome. If I keep doing this, we're gonna saturate all this RAM. It looks like the CPU is catching up, and if we keep doing this, we can saturate all the RAM. So here, the winner is Google Chrome. Um, looks like to me like you can throw as much RAM at as you want, but it's not gonna stop your browser tabs as long as you put in that argument to allow Chrome to do so.